This is our Wheatley 0206 and it's time for another comic book community want list video. So tonight I'm going to go through the whole list. Tonight I'll try to do this rather quickly but uh, we did have uh, a couple more people added to the list and uh, and you know, not, not just a few people but each one had more than one book. So We've got a few books added to the list this week, so we'll start out real quick here with Comic Geek McD. Still looking for Batman the Killing Joke, the first print. And hopefully I can get this to focus. There you go. And he's also looking for Batman Annual number 25 from May of 2006. Okay, then we go to Metarog, looking for Marvel Spotlight, Volume 1, Number 5, in any complete condition. Uh, he wants it to be, you know, the cover to be attached, both staples, all the pages there, uh, you know, things of that nature. And it looks, ah, oh, come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Okay, he's also looking for The Incredible Hulk, Volume 1, Number 377. That is the third printing that he's looking for. I saw a video the other night, somebody had like four, or somebody had this cover, and then I saw somebody on Instagram had like four or five. And I don't know if they were going to sell those or not, but I want to look at that again, because if they are, uh, I want to let... Uh, Roger know that that somebody on Instagram has those. I can't remember now who it was, but okay, so Metarog is also looking for Fantastic Four Volume 1, number 110. It has the error cover, and the error cover, uh, it's a color thing, like uh, the thing down here, he's green instead of brown or tan, whatever color you want to call him. Uh, and I think some of the green up in here is supposed to be more of an orange color. So anyway, that's what it looks like. I hope you can make that out okay. And Metarog is looking for Superman Mail Edition, number 443. Uh, Mail Edition with name of a mall in the UPC, like Rhode Island Mall or Fiesta Mall. There were several different malls. Uh, that was listed. This one here, this is what it looks like. And uh, let me pull it over here so I can. Yeah, this one has Fiesta Mall down at the bottom. You might not be able to see it real well, but it's right down here at the bottom. It says Fiesta Mall. Okay. And then uh, Batman Superpowers Mini Book. Uh, this is also for Metarog with the Burger King logo. Uh, I couldn't find a picture of the actual Batman comic with the Burger King logo, but you can see the Burger King logo up here at the top. I think normally they had a number up there, the ones that came with the action figures. So uh, he's also looking for Atari Waterworks comic, uh, the comic that came with the game. And... Uh, I think this is the comic that he's looking for. So Metarog, if you're watching this and you see this um, this picture of the book, 
uh, let me know if this is actually the right one. Uh, from the research I did, it shows this is the one that came with the Waterworks um, game. So, so there's that sheet. I need to pick this up a little bit, don't I? Escargo T80. Any old school Hughes book. Okay. Simply Incredible Podcast. He is looking for Arkham Asylum Series 2 Bane figure. Alright. And uh, from DC Direct. Mint in box and under $75. <laughs> okay. So I hope... I can get this to where you can see this. All right. Uh, let me try to shed just a little more light on the subject. There we go. Hopefully you guys can make that out. That's the figure in the in the package. Okay. All right. Then we have Who's Your Nerd? He is looking for Marvel Kiss comic number two. Uh, also, any comic from December of 1968, this is what the KISS comic looks like that he is looking for. Alright, uh, and then for me, several Batman books, of course, volume 1, number 227, complete in at least a 4.0, and I think everybody probably knows what that looks like, but I'll show you anyway beautiful book. I gotta have it, I gotta have it. Anyway, then we have Batman number 232, complete in at least a 4.0. That's the Ra's al Ghul cover. Okay, then Batman 234, same deal, complete in at least a 4.0. I'd like a better one than that, but I know I'm not going to get a better one than that for a decent price, probably. But there we go. Focused, focused, focused. Another awesome cover by Neil Adams, of course. Batman 680, Tony Daniels variant. Uh, I know Joker has showed this, Joker 68 has showed this book a few times, and I really like that cover. All right. Also looking for Batman, the Man Who Laughs, first printing, and it looks like that. Okay. Onward and upward. Detective Comics number three ninety five, volume one, complete in at least a five point oh. And as you'll notice, a lot of these are Neil Adams covers. That's a beautiful book. All right, Detective Comics number 400, complete in at least a 5.0. That's the Man Bat cover. All right, and Detective Comics number 402, complete in at least a 5.0. Another Man Bat cover. Batman carrying his lantern. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat, guys, and trying to hold this paper with one hand, and so now I have to, and then I have to grab it with the other hand. So, Detective Comics 866 complete and at least an 8.0, and it's got this funky-looking Joker on the front of it. Very strange book, but I think it's cool. So, all right. And then, of course, I'm also still looking for House of Mysteries number 191. Uh, complete in at least a 6.0. Another Neil Adams cover. There we go. Uh, let's see, Superman vs. Muhammad Ali, which is C56. Complete in at least a 4.0. Would really like to find that book. And Amazing Spider-Man number... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 361. First printing, completing at least a 7.0. Okay. 
Salvation Run number 7, Neil Adams variant, at least an 8.0 and a complete, of course. If it's an 8.0, it better be complete. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and my last one for myself is Spider-Man number 112, at least a 4.0. Spidey cops out at the bottom of it. Okay, then we have Reader 1717 Blu-ray movies. Any kind, but especially The NeverEnding Story, Toy Story 1 and 2, and Scream. I don't have a picture there. Uh, Tomb of Comics is looking for The Incredible Hulk 181. Uh, any condition but intact. I think you probably all know what that one looks like. We've seen several on other people's channels. Beautiful book. I did get the uh, oh facsimile copy. I got a couple of those. Uh, also for Tomb of Comics, Iron Man, Volume 1, Number 76. Getting a little shadow on that there. And it looks like that. Iron Man and Hulk cover. Okay. All right, moving on. <laughs> Robert the Comic Book G-Spot Galvin, Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 1, Number 101. Also, any first series Silver Surfer and any first series Submariner. And this is what uh, Spider-Man 101 looks like. Okay, Jeff, Comic 813, Vampirella, number one, uh, any grade, and I'm pretty sure this is the one, he's not come back and told me any difference, so I believe this is the one he's looking for. Okay, okay, and he's also looking for uh, Vampirella, uh, one, one in 50, Alex Ross cover. And I do not have a picture of that. Uh, Evil Ernie, number one. Any grade. And I do have a picture of that one. Wacky looking book. Pretty cool. Okay, we're getting there, guys. Captain Dadpool is looking for X-23, Target X, number one. And it looks like this. Okay. Uh, the Comic Collector, Batgirl A Cover, Volume 5, Number 23, under $25. I put this one on here last week, but it was really hard to see, so I kind of blew the picture up, as you can see, a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see this a little better this time. You can see that girl's head back here looking up and then uh, well it's kind of hard to make out what the rest of that is but ah, focus come on there we go so I hope you can see that okay all right Big Lion Cat 646. This is a new one. Avengers Forever, Volume 1. Uh, Westfield Comics exclusive variant cover. 9.8 CGC for about a hundred bucks. That's what he's wanting. And it looks like this. Very cool looking book. Alright, and Farley's Nerd Cave. Uh, Punisher Year One, Volume One, Number Three, uh, would also take the trade paperback, and it looks like that. All right, and he is also looking for Punisher Year One, Volume One, Number Four, would also take trade paperback. So those would probably both be in the same book if it was a trade paperback. 
but the actual comic looks like this. Okay, and then this one, I just added this one tonight. I just got word from him tonight from uh, Marvel. Oh, Marvel Me This. Okay. <laughs> I thought I messed up there. But okay, so Marvel Me This. He is looking for Doctor Doom and the Masters of Evil. Now, I don't know for sure if he's just looking for one of these books or if he's looking for the trade paperback or what. So I did leave him a message and hopefully he'll get back with me and I can correct this for next week. But since I'm not sure, this is a four book series. So I'm kind of assuming that he's wanting all four, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you happen to have any of these, it's Doctor Doom, The Masters of Evil. This one is volume one, number one. Uh, he wants complete and at least a 7.0 grade and he will... I said I will, but he will, uh, is will, or he is willing to trade, you know, for the comics. So he's willing to do some trading with comics. Okay, so the uh, number one Doctor Doom looks like this. And then number two looks like this. Number three, sorry about that, looks like this. Uh, oh crap, I didn't, I didn't get number four on there. Huh, okay, I guess I didn't print out number four, but anyway, there's the first three. Um, so anyway, that's the first three. Uh, let me pause this real quick and I'll go print out that other one. Okay, I'm back. So this, okay, let's just go back here. Doctor Doom, The Masters of Evil, Volume 1, Number 4, and as with the other three, complete, and at least a 7.0 grade, and he's willing to trade. So, this is Number 4. Okay. And again, that was for Marvel Me This. So that's the list. For this week guys um, I hope sorry didn't mean to do that right in front of the camera but uh, anyway I hope that uh, <coughs> excuse me I hope some people start finding uh, some of these books for you guys mostly concerned about it being found for you you know more so than myself but <coughs> pardon me Anyway, so that's the list for this week, and I've got, I have really didn't pick much up this week. I've kind of backed off on buying too many comic books right now, but I did have to stop in Walmart and get the um, Batman 100-page giant number 11. So I did pick that one up today. That's a pretty neat book. And I picked up the 100-page giant swamp thing from Walmart. That's kind of creepy looking, but um, yeah, that's Swamp Thing number four. They had all the other ones, but I decided I wasn't going to get them this week. Um, trying to cut down a little bit. Um, another thing I did pick up, though, is this uh, Collar Shifters 89 Batmobile, Michael Keaton Batmobile, however you want to look at it. So it's one of those that changes colors when you get it wet. I guess I'll never know because it's not coming out of the package. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of cool. And I also picked up, and I hadn't seen this anywhere before until now, but it's the uh, Aquaman Black Manta Submarine. thought that was pretty interesting. Pretty neat looking little vehicle. It's the first and only one of these I've seen. And if you look on the back, I have, you know, the uh, the 89 Batmobile and I have the uh, Ben Affleck Batmobile, but I don't have any of the rest of these. Well, I take that back. I do have the, well, what they call the Bat. Um... 
so I do have that one. But anyway, yeah, I just I thought that was pretty cool. I don't have too many things from the Aquaman movie, so I was really happy to find that. I mean, I've got some action figures and stuff like that, but and I have the movie, of course. And I wanted to show you this tonight. I don't believe I've ever showed this um, on YouTube. This is my uh, Dark Knight, uh, Dark Knight Three: The Master Race. Uh, let's see if I can get it back here where you can see it. Uh, when I was getting the Dark Knight 3 Master Race uh, collection, uh, you know, the nine book series, uh, I was also having them pull the hardbacks. So I have the, well, and when you, when you get the ninth book, when you're getting the series, when you get the ninth book, you also get this, uh, this case to put them in. And it's a wraparound case, as you can see. So it's got Batman here. And then Robin goes across the books. And then Superman's on this side. But these are... Uh, let me kind of pull them out here a little bit. So you can see them. But these have some really awesome covers. If I could get a hold of it. There we go. And like I said, these are hardbacks. So that one's really cool. And then there is this one. I hope you can see that all right. Let me shove that back just a little farther. Okay. Okay, so that's, uh, that's number eight. The first one was number nine. Come on out of there. There we go. This is number seven. Number six. Oh, that did not just happen. Hang on a second. Number five went on back in there, being contrary. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, so here's number five. These are a pain. <laughs> here's number five, an interesting Joker cover. Oh, here, just let me pull it out so you can see the Joker a little better with the Batarang stuck in his eye. <laughs> that one's pretty awesome. Here's a Jim Lee cover in here coming up. I think maybe it's number four. Yeah, I really like this one. That's number four. This one's number three. Stay out there. there. Number two. And then, if I can get a hold of it, put this one back in there. Number one. So along with the regular comic books, I also picked up all of these, and then most of I think all of them have this little picture on the back side. But uh, the inside of the book is in color. Some pretty nice artwork. So yeah, oh, sorry about the glare. Let me show you another page or so. So yeah, 
pretty nice little set and like I said when you get the very last book number nine of course when this series first sorry about that when this series first came out it was only supposed to be six then it went to seven then it went to eight and it finally ended at nine <laughs> so when you got the ninth book then you got this box to uh, to store them in which is it's kind of a nice uh, nice little book set so I'm real glad to have that but I just wanted to share that with you guys as well tonight so anyway um, just remember if you have any books that you're looking for and you want to put them on the list please let me know and I would be happy to put them on the list for you um, like I've mentioned before I'm gonna keep doing this you know even though it's I, I I know maybe for some of you guys it's a little discouraging that um, nobody's really finding these books yet um, as most of you know when you're looking for spe specific books it can take a long time to find them <laughs> I know because there's some books that I've been looking for for years and years and years and I still haven't oh, Oh, I find the books, but I don't find them for a price that I'm willing to pay. So either they're not in a good, as good a condition as I want, or they're too high. So that has been stopping me from getting Batman 227 for a very long time, because that's like my grail book. I, I want that book worse than anything um, at the moment. So, uh, so anyway, um, so please let me know. Uh, I'm, I really appreciate the guys who uh, let me know this week that they wanted to add something to the list and I'm very happy to do that for them. Uh, I'm hoping somebody finds those or has them and wants to sell them or wants to trade or whatever. Uh, and if you find a book for somebody and you don't know how to get a hold of them just let me know and I'll either put it in the next video or I'll try to get a hold of them and let them know that somebody's found it and you know so uh, and you can also get a hold of me on Instagram or um, uh, Facebook because I am on Facebook as well I'm on Twitter too but I don't go there very often I don't go to Facebook that often either but uh, I do go to Twi uh, Instagram quite a bit because I know a lot of people in our YouTube community uh, are on Instagram so so you can contact me that way uh, you can email me I think I have my email address um, on my YouTube channel down you know on the abouts page I think you should be able to get to my email address so that's it for this video uh, if you liked it please hit the like button uh, I'd really appreciate you hitting the like button or the dislike whichever uh, you feel like hitting <laughs> Um, because it does help promote our channels whenever we hit hit the like button. Uh, please leave a comment, and again, if you have something you're looking for, let me know and I'll add it to the list. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate a sub. And I am working on my Road to 500 subscribers contest right now, so um, I'm at 430, I believe and uh, so I still have that contest running I don't know how long I know it's going to run at least till the middle of June or until I reach 500 subscribers if that would happen to come first then we'll stop it then but otherwise I may even extend it out past uh, the middle of June so we'll just have to see how things go with that I'll let you all go thank you for sticking around and uh, and uh, listening to me ramble <laughs> And, uh, you know, please leave comments. You know, I've done a video a couple days ago uh, on some of my models that I have because Dr. Strange Life had asked me to do a video on that. So I did. And if there's anything that you guys would like me to do a video on, please uh, let me know. And uh, I will try to accommodate. So... <laughs> Uh, I do want to start showing some of my older books and some of the stuff that I've never showed on e on on eBay, on YouTube before. Um, 
because I have a lot of, I, mostly I've been showing books that I pick up during the week, but I'm kind of backing off for a little while on picking up so many comics. Um, you know, with my wife getting ready to have surgery and stuff, I'm spending more time trying to get prepared for that, so I'm not really focused too much on uh, comic books right now as far as buying them. So, um, but I would like to start showing some of my collection that I have had for for several years and and uh, show you stuff that I've not put up here before. So, uh, I will be quiet now and let you guys go. <laughs> Uh, I apologize for making this video so long, but uh, you know how it goes. So, anyway, everybody have a great weekend. Be blessed, and we'll see you all next video.